everybody. Um, this is an adventure with the Beckett. We are going to the beach again. Um, over there we're at the dam again. I'm 
<laughs> now my dad and Missy playing. Having some fun. <laughs> Are you going to record a bit? I want to swim in the waves. It's still recording, so... Okay, record me going into the waves. Hello, madam. Guys, um, that was basically uh, a passage cam uh, here down at the dam. Still beautiful how it is. I was swimming, um, but my cousin and my dad left me. So I'm on my way back to the house. And yeah, I'm walking barefoot. Uh, yeah, today's Christmas. For those of you wondering, or whatever. Uh, so yeah, maybe when I get home, I'll show you guys some of the stuff about the Christmas. Uh, so here's another look of the dam. Into the, um, into the 
here. So yeah, if the wind was a little harder, uh, I'm sorry if you guys are fight can't hear me because of the fighting with the wind. But if the wind was harder, I would have done like I do at the sea. I build a castle, a sand castle, with walls around it and whatever. And I tried to see how long it would last before the waves knock it over and just, just totally destroy it. I never win that battle at the sea. And here, I don't think I would either. But the wind's not hard enough, so I'm not going to try. And it's getting late, storm coming. So, yeah. I took my waterproof case off on the way, walking on the way home. Oh, it's just like a little bridge. This is where all the water's getting in and filling all the spaces there and everything. So, yeah. Who would have thought the dam could have such a nice, beautiful view? And then I'll see you guys when I get home, unless I see something else interesting. So let me just adjust this so you guys can see a clear view of the whole. Enjoy. I think I'll add a little bit of calm music to this so you guys can just enjoy it. See if I can find any calm music, of course. you guys see on the distance, I'll try to zoom in with it on my editing software, but you'll see a white shirt walking down there in the distance. That's my cousin. He left me quite a while ago. So just have a look. So, yeah, here's the nice, beautiful sand. Huh. Hold on, give me one second. Right, so I wrote my YouTube channel name on the sea, well, on the beach, and please subscribe. Because that's my, that's the letter of my first name, my middle name, and these two are actually joined between another, well, a clan, this is my name, and this is my surname. So, yeah, please subscribe, like the videos, and comment, please. If you guys comment, I know what footage I should upload more and what I should really emphasize on. At the moment, um, okay, not at the moment, but I had to stop it because I came down to the dam with my laptop. But when I get home, I will, I'm uploading a video of my Nitro RC car. Um, first person view where the camera is actually mounted onto my car. Um, I made that mouthpiece, well, first I started with a mount onto my car, but then I wanted to do a third person as well, which you'll see where you can actually see the car driving up and down. I actually turned that into a mouth mount so that I can hold it in my mouth and actually film. So I don't have to get a tripod or someone else holding the camera or anything. 
So yeah, see you guys when I get home. Unless I have anything else interesting. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the Basset Cam, <laughs> basically. Uh, next time, maybe I'll try to actually attach my camera to the Basset and, she w and see what she actually does during the day. Um, so yeah, see you guys when I get home. And um, to all those who watch my Nitro RC car video and all that, and if you actually have one, and it's giving you problems, like you can't get it to start, or there's some kind of problem, or something, leave it in the comments, maybe I'll have a solution for you. But, just remember this, the car only worked well, and seems spectacular in that video. In the rest of the times that I ride the car, I'm tuning it, I'm cleaning it, I have to change that, change this, and all that. So don't give up on the car if it starts giving you problems. Mine gives me constant problems. If it's not the wheels are dirty or something, in it, then it's batteries are flat or it's not tuned correctly. So just remember, if, even if the car gives you the worst problem, it's worth it in the end when you get to ride it. So don't just... I remember when I was first starting with my RC car, gave me so many hassles. I actually just wanted to give it away. But then, and because I was also watching YouTube videos and everything, all these people riding their car, like, as if they don't have any problems. But, that's the fine art of video editing and just getting stuff at the right moment. I guarantee those people probably had problems. So don't just give up like I wanted to do. Just keep it going and just because the video looks like it's working 100% or whatever. Even in that video, while I was actually riding it. If any of you have an RC car, Nitro RC car, you will actually hear that it is not tuned 100% yet. I suck at tuning a car. So I'll see you guys when I get home once again. I keep saying it. But yeah, while I'm walking on this beautiful like shore of the dam, whatever, I'm thinking of things I can add to my vlog. So yeah, so leave in the comments what you want me to film and what problems you have with your Nitro RC car or any questions about Nitro RC car if I do not know the answer for it I will try to research the answer for your questions so yeah see you guys next time hopefully and not now again when I think of something what's up everybody uh, on our way home now from the dam um, this is messy when she's tired. And there's a little Here's the tired Basset. Just laying, sleeping. Oh, sleeping Basset. So, yeah. The sleeping basket. <laughs> uh, what's up, YouTubers? Um, we're back home from the dam. Uh, sorry about the poor lighting. Um, it could be a little bit brighter, but I suppose it's bright enough to show you what I got for Christmas. Right, so what I got for Christmas is a selfie stick right there. Um, 
Let me just show you there. That is actually what I was using. That's what I was using today to film the basset, to show the high videos and all that. Then I also got this little miniature arcade machine. It actually does turn on. See, you can hear the music. And I can actually choose games. There's over... Where does it say? On the box it says over 400 games. So, thank you grandma for that. And thank you mom and dad for the selfie stick. Um, then I got this, which makes lanes on the road while I'm riding my bicycle. So that people don't drive me over, hopefully. Um, then thanks mom and dad for that. Um, then I got this laptop stand. If I open it up, like so, then I place my laptop on it so that all the air vents are open and it doesn't suffocate and all that. I got this big lollipop. That's how big it is compared to me. Um, it's not actually one big lollipop. Inside is a few lollipops. Um, then I got this cool laptop bag. Um, it's actually pretty cool. This is what I was wearing earlier today in the vlog. Um, I got this game. Uh, it's called Bells. And the point of, the aim of the game is to, um, pick up your color with a magnetic thing. If you don't pick up your color, then you have to put back what you have picked up in that round. Um, another thing I got for Christmas is basically my laptop. Just a very early Christmas present. Here's my laptop. A nice Asus laptop. In search of incredible. An i3. Um, pretty cool for all my gaming videos and all my gaming and for my editing and all that this mouse um, it's pretty cool changes colors like at the moment it's bluish purple now it's going to purple that's that side now this side also does it just let it change me even the scroll changes and that button now you'll see in one of the videos where I uploaded gaming and all that, this mouse is perfect for that. Um, another thing I got for Christmas is this dartboard. Now, it's not a normal dartboard. It's got little holes in it already, um, and that is because of the point. The point is little plastic ends, um, and this is actually a, actually a electronic dartboard. Let me turn it on. As you can see there, nice electronic dartboard. So when I hit the board, it speaks and whatever, and tells me my scores and all that, so I don't have to keep count. Um, Thank you, Auntie and Uncle, for that. And then... Oh, and thanks, Dad, for my laptop. And thanks, Mom and Dad, for the air vent. And, oh, I don't know if I showed you guys. Um, I also got another air vent under here. An uh, air fan thing for when I do my gaming and all that. I don't want my laptop to overheat. So I got a nice cooling fan underneath where I set my laptop on while I'm doing editing, gaming. Basically, just stays underneath when I do everything, just to make sure that it doesn't overheat. And thanks, Dad, for my mouse as well. Um, uh, thanks, Mom and Dad, for my la laptop bag. And then I also got um, two water guns. Um, they're called wazookas. Now, it's like a, a water gun, and then you screw a Coke bottle 
or any plastic bottle at the back of it and then you can just spray water out of them and all that they're actually outside so and it's dark dark outside so it's actually pretty far to go get it well not far but it's dark um and i think that covers it well uh i bought myself basically a christmas present um i bought myself call of duty modern warfare 2 uh, for my PC, so I can do some gaming videos. Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Um, and then Battlefield 3. And also Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Um, you will see videos coming out. By the time you're watching this, there will be a video up. Um, let me just go get you my uh, Call of Duty. There's my Call of Duty that I bought myself. Um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Now, I had some money in my bank account, so I bought myself some games because they were on special for 100 bucks each. So I bought those, um, and my friend also got Battlefield 3 and Ghost. Um, Call of Duty Ghost. Um, we we both installed Battlefield 3. My dad was not very happy because we have uncapped Wi-Fi. But they said once we get to about 400 gigs, they're going to start slowing us down. Even though I say that's not uncapped. But anyway, um, we hit 300 and something this month. Downloading Battlefield and all that. Um, but then my laptop started giving me problems and whatever, so I totally cleared it, so now I have to install Battlefield again. And my dad said I must wait until next month. <laughs> so, yeah, I can wait for that. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Bassett cam, basically. Um, see you guys next time. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed. And don't forget, leave a comment. Tell me what you, yes, you got for Christmas. I want to know. I'm interested. See you guys next time.